We're proud of our team tonight. Uh, you know, obviously coming off of a really tough loss on the road and you know, just really proud of how we responded. Got a great start out of Mac Anglin and uh, swung the bats very, very well. Uh, played good defensively. Uh, just played a complete game. Thought we really competed. And, uh, you know, I think we all know that every game for us right now is a one-game playoff. We need every win we can get. And uh, we're off to a great start this weekend. But also told the team that, you know, if there's any lesson to be learned uh, by tonight, you know, what you do in one game does not have anything to do with what's going to happen in the next. And, uh, you know, we got to be ready to go. We can't, we can't, you know, sit here after a, a big win tonight uh, where, we, where we, you know, had total control of the game and, and think that we're just going to do that tomorrow. We got to earn every win. And we just got to keep competing every pitch. And, and again, uh, you know, if we do that, you know, hopefully we'll be in good shape. But I uh, thought we played really, really well today. Yeah, I mean it's we're we're in a pretty tough spot. I mean we're two, we're we're on our we're on our third catcher. Uh, Garris has caught two innings uh, on the season uh, when we put him in there. Uh, so uh, yeah, I mean we're down to one guy. We do have uh, one other player, a couple other players on the roster who have caught at some point. We have one that we feel like we could put back there if we had to, uh, you know. But he hadn't caught since you know it's been a couple years. Uh, but, uh, you know, we just need to try to do everything we can to keep Reed back there. Reed did a great job. So proud of him, you know, for a guy, true freshman that's caught two innings on the year, uh, to be thrown in that spot, uh, you know, with, with, with no notice at all. Uh, I thought he did an outstanding job behind the plate. Uh, so uh, really proud of, of Reed. Yeah, I mean, I think you could tell if you watch him run down, you know, run down the baseline. You know, he hurt his, uh, it's a hamstring injury, leg injury. Uh, we don't really know the timetable right now. I mean, a lot of it will be dependent upon how he feels tomorrow. Um, you know, as far as when he can come back, um, not real sure, to be honest with you. A lot of it with hamstrings, sometimes they knot up, sometimes they pull, sometimes it's a strain. You know, it's just a degree of the injury and also just how he feels tomorrow when he gets here as far as kind of what the timetable will look like. How did you like that, you know, despite that, you fall behind one nothing? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, we brought everybody up right after that happened because we got guys looking around in the dugout where, you know, Frenchie goes inside, and that becomes that becomes the focal point versus the game. And uh, just brought everybody up and said, hey, guys, these things happen, right? We can't panic. You know, we can't get down in the dumps about it. we got to pull together right now. And, you know, Reed's our guy. He's going in the game. He's going to do a great job. He's ready for this moment, and, and he was. And uh, just tried to steer it back towards the field, uh, and not make it, you know, not making a thing a thing is the bottom line. And, and we can't do that. We just got to move forward with the guys that we have and, uh, you know, do the very best that we can. With, with uh, Casey's performance tonight, uh, we responded also. Yeah. Making plays out in center field like he did. Yeah. Plays. Probably had the best game, you know, maybe the best game of anybody. Uh, you know, on the field tonight, I think he had three hits maybe. Yeah, three hits, drove in two, hit a big home run, made a great play, you know, robbed the home run in center field. He played a, a well of a baseball game tonight and uh, even finished the game with a really nice play at first base. So uh, really proud of Caden, and uh, it's good to see him swing the bat as well as he did. We're going to need that bat, especially, you know, if Frenchie's out, you know, we need, we need somebody who can, you know, who has some experience to step in and pick up that production. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he, I didn't say anything to him about it. He didn't say anything about it. Uh, you know, I think he responded just fine. I mean, again, I mean, you look at the guys, uh, you know, this, this, you know, doesn't have anything to do with, with Caden necessarily, but you look at the guys who were hitting, you know, above him, they're all swinging the bat pretty dang good. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's just a matter of trying to put guys in a position to be successful. And, you know, sometimes bumping a guy down in the order helps him tremendously because it takes some of the pressure off of him as a player. So, uh, you know, that, and that's all that I'm really trying to do is put him in a position to be successful. But also, it's hard to move, uh, you know, to line up around when you got that many guys swinging the bat the way we've been swinging the bat as of late. Do you think that did relax him a little bit? Swinging pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I don't know, to be honest with you. I, a lot of times, uh, I don't have conversations with guys unless I feel like I need to, if I feel like I need to explain it to them why I move a guy up or down. 
uh, if they if they come to me, obviously we'll have the conversation. Or if I feel like they need it, Caden's a pretty steady Eddie guy. I mean, whether he's look whether he's hitting in the four hole or he's hitting in the nine hole, he's going to pretty much swing the bat the way he swings the bat. He's not going to change a whole lot. So the main thing is is trying to take pressure off of him. But also we had. You know, we've got a lot of guys swinging the bat fairly well right now that I didn't feel like we need to be, you know, moving the spots around a whole lot. I know you've got a, a lot of other stuff to worry about this weekend, but mm. uh, Max, he's now within two home runs of tying Khalil Green with a single-season record. Uh, just your thoughts on, on that in the season? Today. Well, it's, it's hard to imagine that, right? I mean, it's hard to imagine that in the BB core era that you would have a guy that could potentially, and, you know, again, we don't know for sure, that would even be this close to a Khalil Green. I mean, Khalil Green's arguably one of the best college baseball players to ever play and, and had one of the best seasons in the history of college baseball in 2002. Uh, just put up insane numbers, was first-round pick and a big leaguer. Uh, so, uh, you know, to, to think that he's anywhere close to that uh, in a single season is, is pretty impressive. And, it's, again, it's one of those things that when the season's over, you probably look back and you say, holy cow, like what kind of season did this kid had? In the moment – you know, you just you're just watching a really good player, you know, swing the bat at a very high level. But you know, when you have a chance to process that, you know, whenever this season is over, it, you know, you'll you'll really you know probably be able to appreciate it a lot more. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to see that you know there's there's that chance. Uh, you know, I don't know if he's thinking about it. We're certainly not talking about it. Uh, but uh, you know, just to be in striking distance is pretty cool. Well, I think he should be the ACC Player of the Year. I mean, I, I, I mean, who, you know, all the guys that were in contention for ACC Player of the Year, and this, you know, I'm, I'm partial, I'm biased, but all the guys that were in contention for ACC Player of the Year, we've played against them. And Wagner is, in my opinion, the best player in our league, period. I mean, he is the best. He's the best hitter. He's the best hitter in this league. He's having the best season of anybody in this league. He's leading the country in, in slugging percentage, and I think he's third in home runs overall. I mean, as far as a guy that's having the best season of any player in the ACC, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how you can't say he is. But again, I'm partial, and every coach that has a player that's on that ballot's going to fight for his guy. But I think uh, you know this year. I don't, I don't think anybody's having a better season in the country than Max Wagner. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Yep.